I'm gonna get y'all's opinion on something. So about a month ago, um, I put out this video that just went viral. I was hoping we were gonna do this. Me too. <laughs> Could you be with a woman who makes three times your income? I mean, that just sounds like it'll end in turmoil. I don't need every man to be content in dating a powerful woman like me. I'm gonna tell you where your thought process is gonna change. I've dated a woman more successful than me. But you're also saying that for someone to be super successful, they're bougie. It's not all about the social status. Dang, man. All right, so let's watch this video and tell me what y'all think. Could you believe that a young lady would not date me because I told her it's not in my budget. She didn't return a phone call, she ain't do nothing. And I'm sitting here like, well, what the heck? Y'all, she didn't text me for two months. Keep it locked, we'll be right back. So check this out, y'all. Check this out, check this out, check this out. I already have a video out talking about a young lady who wouldn't date me because I don't have a credit score. And I'm not going after ladies. Let me say this right now. But I do have a problem when young ladies try to play your boy. Like, what in the world? So you got you guys know me. I budget. I budget every single month. At the end of the month, I always, you know, list in my cash flow. Then I also put out what I have going out. Inside of my budget, because I am a single man and I'm dating for a purpose, for marriage, you know, I do have a line item for dates. That line item is not a lot. I'm not going to give you the particular number, but it's not that much. So about a few months ago, I took this young lady out. We went out to dinner. She texts me. She says, hey, first date was cool, but can we go to this particular restaurant next weekend? I didn't respond because I wanted to go home and check my budget and make sure that, okay, I can afford it inside of my budget. So when I go home, I realize it's gonna take me over that particular line item in my budget for dating. So I asked myself, all right, do I tell her the truth? Like, I was thinking about just lying, y'all, to be real. I was gonna be like, can't go, I'm busy. But then you know what, the Holy Spirit said, no, don't lie. Show her the caliber of man that you are. So I sent her a text message that says, hey, unfortunately, I can take you out next weekend, but I can't take you to this particular restaurant because if I do, this would take me over my dating budget for the month. I will be more than happy to budget this in for next month if we are still dating. So I send it and I got an iPhone. And then on the iPhone, y'all know how it happens. When they start typing, that big old bubble come up with a dot, dot, dot. I'm thinking like, okay, cool, we good, we good, we good. Then the dot, dot, dot goes away and nothing comes in. And I'm sitting there, I'm emotional, like, dang, did I just play myself? Dang, did she just play me? Y'all, she didn't text me for two months. She didn't return a phone call, she ain't do nothing. And I'm sitting here like, well, what the heck? How was she gonna sit here and say, you know what? I can't respond to that because a man's gonna stick to his budget. That's sad. So she seen me on a particular national show. Ain't gonna say who, but she seen me on TV. She sends me a text message and she says, hey, just seen you on such and such. How are you? What about that date? <laughs> I started typing and I really wasn't typing nothing. I just wanted her to see the dot, dot, dot. And I didn't hit send. Oh because here's God. the thing, you can't play me. And then I honestly Eddie. think I'm gonna come back to you after you've done me like that. What's the whole purpose of this story? My vision for my life and for my money, because I stuck to it, it actually blocked me from dating a particular young lady that probably wasn't healthy for me. So to anyone who's out there dating, when you have a budget, you stick to that budget. Your plan is your pathway to your future. You stick to that plan. You stick to the vision. Where there is no vision, that's where people perish. And I believe when we just go out there and just spin and just spin and let people manipulate us into changing our plan and our vision for our life, things happen. I could have took it to the restaurant. Honestly, I could have took it that next weekend, but I didn't want to change my budget around because at the end of the day, that's what I said I'm going to do. Yo, it's your boy, Anthony O'Neill. Let me ask you. I seen that. <laughs> I did just see that. <laughs> Wait, you slammed it. Was I wrong? <sighs> Not at all. No? Nope. Anthony's tone, I think tone's everything. Come on, man. Like, you got... You gotta script it. If you're gonna write it in a text, if you're gonna respond in a text, you gotta script it in a way that... You, in a way that someone could read your tone or infer, not infer anything negative from your tone. So I was just thinking like, dude, what are you doing? Like, come on. I respect that you stick to your budget. That's not the issue. Like, I really, like, that's great. That's awesome. I'm glad, I'm happy. I think I, the first thing I came to was like the phrasing. Yeah. Right? 
Crazy? Phrase it? Yes. Explain. If we're still Explain. dating. Explain. Yeah. Yes. If we're, we're still, still dating. dating. Because you don't date, know what was going on in her mind and why, like how she took The dates weren't guaranteed. I immediately think what went on in her mind. Yeah. If we still dating. Yes. Possibly. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, it's, like, it's understood. Yes. I That's think, from their you perspective. Have to say it. Why not? Uh, I, why? why? What if not? she's sensitive? Okay. It's a text message. You don't know how she took it. Yeah. You can't That's tell tone. It was a text message. That's the problem. That's the yeah. problem. You're not saying it. You're texting. The right Brother there. made Y'all a whole have viral video without knowing it. the girl's oh, actual. She didn't answer. She didn't she did was, you say hold on, hold on, hold on. If there is one thing I want to bring up today, it is that situation where Anthony responded incorrectly to the woman who was not considered a part of his budget. I got some thoughts on that. I mean, you said, here's what she was thinking well, in a viral video. You have no idea what she was thinking. Yeah, right. we, we, we will never know what she was thinking because she didn't, return won't ask her. Her. she didn't return his calls either. Yeah. Uh, well, when she hit him back, you call her? she could have said. Call her? I called her. Yeah. Call I didn't text her back again. You didn't? I just called her one time. Did you leave a message? Once? Nope. Uh, oh, so after that text message, you've called her one time. I called oh, her one time. Oh, so oh, he okay. didn't yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, you did your due diligence. In a way. One time. And she just didn't answer and she didn't just didn't respond. Well, what was she going on in her life? Like, after y'all talked, did, I don't was know. she going through something? I don't know. He don't know. She didn't answer. It, <laughs> I wish I could hear her side of it. I wish I could yeah. hear her side. I don't really. Wow. I mean, I call her right now. This is very serious. Call her. I got, call her. Call her. Call her. I got a question. <laughs> and I'm going to lay this out there. You paid for the first date, right? Right. Indeed. So, why couldn't y'all come into terms of doing half and half on the second date? That why? Was- did he have to pay for the second date? He didn't have to. He didn't have to. Exactly. But they didn't get to communicate. The issue that there was no communication and then it was via text so it could be interpreted in so many different ways. Y'all know how we saw that? If you come out here and tell me I want to go to this particular restaurant, why? Yeah, that was a move. It was a change. 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 It was a going to be happening next week. We're not the saying sentence. he's wrong. Right. We're not saying, We're not saying right. he's wrong. It's just the verbiage and the fact that it was communicated via text, so it just leaves everything Shouldn't just been open to a whole bunch of the, stuff. If yeah. we keep dating, you know, feels like, if hey, if, if you stick her, like, almost like you have to earn that. Yeah, like, if it's I kind of how I move. heard Whoa, it. But wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> we don't know what, what she thought. What says that she doesn't have to earn that right? <laughs> Even, I want to think before I answer. Because if you're, if, you're, if you're saying that she doesn't, it's basically saying she's entitled to that date. Not Ooh. necessarily true. That's not what she's saying. Well, I don't think that's what you're saying. You what is she saying? I think, I think what we're all trying to say... Who's we all? Y'all? The with females. <laughs> yes. And y'all can check me if I'm wrong. It's, it's just the fact that even though we know that, okay, it's if we even get to this next point, you don't got to say it like that. It's just, it can come off yeah. very strong. Say it. Well, we're, we're, we're women. We're not assuming. Say it, because as, what we're not going to do is make assumptions. I'm not going to assume that you know that if we're still dating by next month. I'm not going to make that assumption. I think it's people, already on the table. She's still learning him. What if she doesn't know how he is? Can I well, ask she's question? still learning him and don't Here's know how he question. is. How does she know that he can afford How long y'all knew each other? Well, they didn't jump on the phone and talk. Well, she, she made a <laughs> mistake yes. by texting and call. Oh, sorry, what? How long did they know each other? Though? We can do that. I'm the type of person where I love to look at both sides of a coin. Like, hey, what did I do wrong in this situation? If there was mi- miscommunication, what did I do wrong? And, okay, maybe I said something that made them do, like, so this basically gave it an opportunity for so many different perspectives. And you just kind of sit back and go, okay, let me reanalyze my thought process now because this girl thought this way, this girl thought this way, but we were all thinking the same, but just indifferent. Yeah, that's a good question. And One then week. the Disney princess. Oh, oh, exactly. oh, oh, oh. One week. Why does it matter enough? One week. With this, with I can't put all the information in the video. You, <laughs> <know>. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. you leaving out vital information. You ain't never watched Law and Order. So, but I think that's. I think that's that information is irrelevant. Right. I don't know. What? Uh, huh? She coming at me like that after a week. I, I think if someone would have, oh, I would have picked up the phone and said, "Hey, that's like that restaurant's really expensive." I'm really careful about my budget. Like, maybe explain it, the tone. I don't know. Yeah. But y'all are acting surprise. like, here's, here's my question. He's going to soften himself. Who, who, who yeah. initiated the conversation? She did. Mm. Um, but that's why you call. So, like, wait. Hey, yo, you it's okay for you to text 
but it's not okay for me to respond in how you initiated the conversation. So he should go out of his So way. I need to step up just so I can please her? No. I didn't say that. But y'all ain't <laughs> no, saying nothing. It's not about, you can't, I, so the opposite of what you're asking is, you're saying, so, so do I have to step up? Don't you want to step up? I have no problem stepping up, but y'all are getting on me for responding to her communication. We only don't like those last four words if we're still dating. The rest of it is fine, but I'm if we're be still honest, dating, it's tough. I feel like she was being greedy on that second date. Bruh. Okay, can I, can I just interject something here that's for a, the one single week. men that's in the week. room? I, first of all, I could be your mother, so I recognize that. Okay. I also recognize that it could be a generational thing, but I would like to have had that conversation by phone yes. or in person. Yeah. Yes. I think I'm so much, it's not hold on, I think so much can be misinterpreted by words. And yes, I recognize that she came to you like that, but <laughs> I think she could have called you. I also yeah. think that you could have called her too. And yeah. I think all of this would be squashed and we wouldn't be guessing what people's motives were if yeah. you guys were talking and not just texting. Okay, but that's not a question. Yeah. Mm. That's my answer. <laughs> yeah. She's it. like, P.S., I don't care about your question. I've got the answer. Yes. <laughs> but I the agree. question, but here's the thing. I called one time. So here's the thing. Mandisa, you text me. Hey, great day. Boom, 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 boom. Can we go here? I, I respond back to you. Would you have just left it there? I would not have. I would have called you because I would have received your text and I would have been offended. And I would want to know that I was not misinterpreting what you were saying. I don't see how that's offensive. Well, and that's, yeah, that's probably the difference in a man and a woman. Yeah. It's offensive to me. And so when I saw that video, Anthony, What was offensive? Was, if we're still dating? A lot of it was. I think it would make me feel like You're not a line worthy? item. It would make, it would immediately, I would receive that as like a worthiness thing. That may mm -hmm. not be your mm -hmm. intention. I'm just telling you the way that I received it. That's how I would have received it. <laughs> I would say if I were the on the receiving end of that text message, I would have been offended. I just think there is a way to have communicated about his budget that I think could have been handled with a little bit more tact. And sure, to his defense, she could have started not by texting that, but I just think at some point when there's miscommunication, somebody has to be the bigger person to address it and not by text message. So I'm gonna tell you, hold on, hold on, no, no, because I learned a lot about communication. <laughs> you are interpreting what he, how he may be saying yeah. that. Totally. You can't interpret. Exactly, that's why I would want but to I do the agree phone with her he with the communication of either I agree. I she tried. It didn't wait, happen. Wait. <laughs> she no. should have called. No, she should have I agree. She initiated with what you said. Thank you. I definitely do. However, you, anytime you say but around her, I really can't because about everything you said before. When so you said like, something about interpreting as feeling like you're not basically worth yeah. the particular date, men go through that all the time. Ooh. Men go through that all the time and having to That's prove their worth to these women. How so? Mm. How so? Mm. In yeah. every way possible. Like Ooh. what? Give me an example. From of how. character to mannerisms to how he how he courts her to what how, is he doing? How I me mean, too. How, the question. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Or how like exactly. Exactly. Right. Me too. Like we go through the same exact thing. I don't understand how it's so, different. So 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 what is the problem here? How how do you feel like if I say, well, you know, that's not in my budget? Yeah. How does it feel like? Well, am I am I worth it? How do you how do you how do you get that inference from that? Oof. I can't I can't break down to you how I can just say that that's how it would make mm -hmm. me feel if I received that. So that's why I would have called you up and I would have said, Hey, help me to understand what you're talking about. I run into this on social media all the time. I get offended with the way people say things, and then I say. I want to make sure I'm not misinterpreting what you're saying. Yeah, Can you yes, break that yeah. down for me? Mm -hmm. And it usually mm -hmm. is that I'm wrong and I'm receiving it wrong. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think communication has to yes. be yeah. the forefront in yeah. how you say things like that. A couple like of months yeah. ago, someone gave me two free tickets to a um, Predators game. Mm -hmm. And so I texted the guy I was talking with and mm -hmm. I said, hey, I just got two free tickets to the Preds game tomorrow night. Do you want to go? Because mm -hmm. it's tickets, it's easy. And, you know. mm -hmm. and he said, oh, I've already got something tomorrow night, but I'm free on Wednesday. Right? So what he communicated to me was, I'm rejecting what you're offering, but I'm telling you I'd still like to see you. Good. Mm, yeah. yeah. Right? So what he said is, I can't do the thing you want to do, but I want to see you. Yeah. So so there was a But you did the same that. thing. What? Well, oh. you didn't get Well, you gave another you said in a month right. I'll pay for that meal. No, it you, wasn't a month. I said next month. Next month was a week and three days away. Uh, oh, okay. well, I think I think in, I'm again, I'm on your team. I'm AO all day. You're not on my team. I'm on your team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on your team. 
<laughs> but I think, the, I think, I think another way you could have said it would have been to say, but instead, what if we did this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I do love that steak restaurant, but you should come over here and let me make you steak, because yeah, I can cook steak. Good. And we can try yeah. that. Yeah. That's yeah. good. If you wanted to see her but again, this you'd have done that. This whole, this whole scenario was in the moment. Nobody's thinking about what's the exact right thing to do at this moment. I mean, my friend dude did. He sent the text, he interpreted it wrong, they didn't talk. Yeah. That's what really happened. The way it all went down is exactly what happened. You know, it's like, what if I would've did something differently or um, trying to figure out what would've been the right thing to do? Um, more so, how could you have adjusted yourself in that situation? Rather than maybe just sending that text, it could've been done differently. Um, it could've possibly put more thought into uh, before the whole um, transaction of the situation, I guess. That's yeah. what happened. Yeah, there's a miscommunication, you know? and yeah. we've built a whole story right when we have yeah. no idea what she's saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, do you want to talk about what has happened since that video went viral at Anthony? No, nah, it's all good. <laughs> uh, it's all good. She it's obviously good. called him back when she saw him on TV. Yeah, right. she did. Right. She did, and I didn't respond. But you gave her the three that dots. Did. And there's that, too. Yes. You didn't respond. I'm just, I'm just gonna call that out because because he's he's no it's longer mirroring, attractive. It's mirroring the image of what she did to you, so you're gonna go back and do that to her, yeah. and it looks pity. There is not one side that's guilty or not guilty in this. Um, if we had to pick a side, it's not even about sides, but if we had to pick a side, um, I would say that there's things that both could have done in order to keep communication flowing. I wonder even if it was a definite no for both of you, could you have come back into the middle and have been like, hey you know, from my perspective, this would have made it better. Or from your perspective, how did you interpret this? No, I will say that was petty on my part. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, okay. whoa. Oh, no, no, sir. No, sir. <laughs> you don't think that was petty? Call, call it for what it is. It might you know have been what? petty, but let's be honest, if she would have did the same thing, it would have been acceptable. No. 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 I do not believe that. No. At all. No. At all. We would have called her petty, you too. You can't go tip for that. Right. We called her petty, too. I mean, the real real is neither of them liked, it, liked each other enough to make it work. Just mm -hmm. not that That's into it. you. Y'all just weren't that into it. You, you were yeah. into each other. You just weren't that into each other yeah. to make it work. Right? Because I, I said I'm on a budget? No. Well, I mean, no. no, because you, she called you and you didn't. Inter I mean, you just, neither of y'all did the work to figure out what yes. the other one meant. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, so that's think, fine. That's but fine. I, think, I think what y'all are saying is, 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 I think he said it right. Both sides, the lack of communication. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I th and I believe the breeding ground for understanding in, in the end is communication in the beginning. Right. Clear communication. Clear communication. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think... So y'all just didn't like each other enough to do it? No, nah, <laughs> I, I wouldn't yeah. say all that because I, yeah. I, I texted her back, I responded, and then I called her. She didn't do it. When she hit me back, I moved on. And I was like, I'm, you, you showed me your true colors mm -hmm. by my that's fair. opinion. That's fair. So I've already moved on. I'm not even going to open up that door again. Yeah. And I think that's a problem with single people. We move on, then we go back and we open up the door. Mm. And then we have more issues. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And so I, I, I mean, I, I, I respect her. I've talked to her since then. That's what Mandisa was asking me. I'm ready for you and her yeah. to sit down and be interviewed together. Come on. Oh, can I do it? No. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Well, let's just no. let's go to the confessional no. room and have her no. answer the same question. Do you answer that? Yeah. You no. want to go viral? Bring her on. Yeah. Uh, man, listen. Man, listen. All right. All right. Let's. Great let's, idea. let's. No. Mm -mm, no. no. I want to look for another good, good oh. question. Ooh. All right. So, Ben, let's do this. Um, Mandisa said something earlier uh, before we got on camera, which I, I want to dive into. Uh, new generation of 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 dating. Um, Mandisa said that she was listening to a podcast. And this lady was saying that in a marriage, man and woman pursue each other. But then you also said you want to be pursued. Mm -hmm. And this generation, we are seeing ladies pursue men mm -hmm. and proposing to men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you're ready. Is there anything wrong with a strong-minded woman pursuing a man? Could you pursue a man? I want to say... I don't know what pursuit looks like necessarily, but I think that I'm going to be forced to actually let somebody know, hey, I'm interested in you, without sounding like a dork and saying, hey, I'm interested in you. So... But is that pursuit? I don't know. Deep down inside, guys want to be pursued too. Exactly. No. So what Whoa. is it? Who? Mm. No. Uh -huh. Speaking I, 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 I won't necessarily. <laughs>